Well, here yeah. we go. I'm ready. Ah, so am I. There we go. Good morning, everybody. And today is another great day coming from Florida. And uh, this is Miss Kira Peterson, as known as Kieran Taft. And Randy Weckerly is to my right. Yeah, You're over left. here. Just a little, <laughs> little guy sitting on the right. Anyway, we uh, want you to stay with us uh, this morning because we've got a story that we're going to unfold down in Vero Beach. And what a great brewery. It's so much going on down there that fights break out. Not really. But, <laughs> <laughs> they have people, a breakout coming People up. might wrestle a little bit, though. But that, it's, it's really a great website. We're going to be looking forward to doing that. But before we get started on that, make sure that you leave us a note at the bottom where you're watching this from. Send us your notes, your ideas, and places that we can go in the future um, days, week, and months. Every Tuesday is going to be a big day for us, Miss Kira. Look, and Alan's online. All Woo! right, there you go, Alan. Uh, this Here. is going to be a great seconds alan's going to be coming on yes and uh this is going to be I awesome i bet you it's sunny down there well not only is it sunny it has never snowed are in, you sure uh, positive and vero beach are you kidding me i mean that'd be crazy if it did that would be a <laughs> that would be a sad and disappointing situation if that ever did we're trying to ask uh alan uh drittenbos who is the ceo of walking tree brewery hopefully he'll be adding on here in a minute coming forward and yes. hopefully we've got a good connection down there but oh, uh, connecting. It connecting. is connecting. We're getting Woo! there. Hi, we... Alan. <laughs> hey, guys. Well, I'll tell you what, Alan. Good morning. How are you? Oh, I'm fantastic. How are you guys well, doing? Well, we're doing great. I was just telling Miss Kira here, it's never snowed in Vero Beach, right? I'm sorry. Let me step outside. Yeah. It's a little too loud at the brewery. I yeah. thought I'd be able to, but my. Well, yeah, it, it's not uh, quite loud it though. looks sunny down there compared to here. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful out, no oh, doubt about it. Yeah, just making me jealous. <laughs> yeah, you, you look great, and, and uh, we were just saying what a what a wonderful website that you have. I'll tell you what, if you want to see something unique, go to walkingtreebrewery.com. You guys have a lot going on, so just you know, you're the founder, the CEO. Everything comes to your desk. Tell us the story, how you got started, and and uh, we're going to unfold everything that's going on there in upcoming events here in a minute. Awesome. Um, yeah, it all started out as home brewing, which is pretty common these days with a lot of these breweries that have opened. Um, I've been brewing for like 10 years, and I was I moved back to Vero Beach after being gone for a while, and a friend of mine was like, hey, I got this buddy, he brews, he wants to open a brewery, I know you do too, you guys should meet. <laughs> and it took like a year of her kind of nagging us and saying, hey, you know, uh, I told you, why haven't you met yet? Why haven't you guys met yet? <laughs> and uh, so finally set us up on a, on a blind date, if you will. Oh, okay. And, and we, uh, we, we met at a bar. We both brought some homebrew, and we started talking, and one thing led to another, and uh, here we are. So How fantastic. It was a, a, a match made in heaven, if you will. Fear right. heaven. Yeah, or... <laughs> So exactly. were you brewing in your garage at the time, or were, how were you doing? Yeah, definitely. Pretty uh, pretty into it. I had, like, five refrigerators all at different temperatures. Um, I was very competitive in the Florida homebrew circuit. Uh, there's there's a, a great homebrew scene down here, and competing in the competitions was a lot of fun. It's social. It's educational. It's... Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. So that was definitely where I got my passion for brewing was was home brewing. Oh, that that just sounds great. And looking at your website, your your building looks huge. You it, how how many square feet do you encompass in that building? It's a pretty neat place. We are uh, twenty four thousand square feet. That's huge. And yes, it's a nineteen forty five Navy Supply warehouse. Wow. Uh, we're at elevated up 42 inches there used to be uh, railroad tracks right in the front of the building and the navy un unloaded everything they needed right here through this building wow that is so cool was the was the navy the owner before you bought it so it's been a lot of things over the years <laughs> we still get people that come in and they're like oh, i used to play in here when i was a kid my dad worked in whatever um, there's, there's been a, a lot of different businesses in here over the years. It had been vacant for about seven or eight years before we took it over. Um, yeah, we knew this building existed and we really wanted to get our hands on it. And, uh, we were patient. 
It's a pretty <laughs> complex, pretty complex uh, lease. The city owns the building, but the airport owns the land. So we have two leases. Oh my God. We told our realtor the building. It took like six months before we actually had keys. Wow. So, wow. But we're glad to be in. Yeah. How long now? How long? How many years have you been in that building then? Two years. Wow. Oh. Uh, I mean, we signed our lease like five years, four years ago, but it took a couple of years to get open. Yeah. So um, we just had our two-year anniversary party a few weeks ago. Uh, we're 4,000 people here. We wow. think it was a, a success. It was a lot of fun. Well, we're looking at your line. I want to talk about your core beers because that lineup looks fantastic. And uh, it appears that uh, there, you have a lot of medals or a lot of wins or a lot of acknowledgement for what you're doing now in terms of what you're producing. And we love the names. Straw Hat, Sandy Feet, Baby Cakes, and White Walking Trees. <laughs> How much effort went into naming those? You know, the naming process is always a mess around here. Uh -huh. I'm sure every brewery goes through the same thing. Most names are taken. Really? Uh, we have uh, an app called Untapped, which is where you can go and rate your beers. And we usually look for other beers with a similar name on there first. But, um, I mean, there's 6,000 breweries in the country now, and everybody's trying to come up with names. There's just not a whole lot left. So you <laughs> see a lot of breweries with the same names and you know if they're states away and they're small they're never going to have conflict in distribution um so we we tried our hardest to pick names that are you know available uh, yeah. but yeah it's, that's always um that's always a challenge yeah. there's there's common common times where a beer is ready to serve and we're like what are we going to call this thing <laughs> yeah. pick a name. come on guys yeah so when you're when you're producing yours, how are you? Um, are you putting them in oak barrels or what? What type of? We we do do a lot of barrel aging. Um, it's one of my passions. So we we have a, a good connection with a, a winery in California. We get a lot of their used barrels, um, and we buy a lot of spirit barrels. And uh, a barrel aging is 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 definitely a, a niche market that. People that are into it are really into right. it. I love aging, cellaring beers, so we're we're big into that. Not all of our beers are barrel aged. Right. Just so usually the bigger beers. Uh, we actually have a, a sour program under construction right now. We've had we probably have ninety five oak barrels in the building right now, and about thirty of those are sour. So we're working on a process area to do that cleanly, not contaminate. All the clean beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Let's get to, let's get to this lineup of events. I mean, this is an event driven. Uh, apparently, you, you big enough to have an arena in there, and uh, you know, I, I'm looking. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I'm saying you have in in your events that you have upcoming events. Uh, ready to war a, a, a wrestling event? I mean, that that. that yeah. <laughs> How did that come about? Yeah. <laughs> We have professional wrestling here. It's true. Of course. I'm going to go hide out in the uh, arbitrarium where it's not as loud. The brewers are just turned on all the pumps and it's loud out there. Yeah, yeah. It's not, I can hear you. That's awesome. So, yeah, we have professional wrestling here. We do a lot of crazy events. It's It's been a lot of fun. Uh, there, aren't, there aren't many venues in Vero Beach for such events. So we've kind of just become the go-to for lots of crazy ideas. Yeah. So this is the fourth time the professional wrestling has been here. It has grown every single time we have it. It's bigger and bigger. It's it's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I can tell you all the interviews that we've done. I've been doing this now for about five years and have visited about 500 places. No other wrestling venues that we've had. That, that is, <laughs> you know, unless it's just an owners meeting. But uh, you know, <laughs> when they first. When they first approached us about it, we were like a little skeptical. Right. And when we saw what kind of a production they put on, we were like, yes, we want that. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm hoping we're going to be coming down to the PGA show in, uh, uh, in January. Of course, our magazine, Links and Libations, the reason that we're uh, tying to get this all together is that, you know, Florida's had some 
stressed out weather and now they got some other issues that people don't realize that Florida is open for business. So our campaign is to acknowledge that so that people understand that, you know, there's still a lot of fun to be had, golf courses to be played, spas to be attended and wrestling like, events. And now wrestling events. So <laughs> that's, uh, well, that's just one. I mean, you take a look at Zach Jones live. I mean, there you go. She, she's the, uh, uh, a photographer <laughs> for the past 10 years for uh, national big, uh, what you National call bands. National Just bands, yeah. And local so, bands. <laughs> yeah, so she's got about 2,000 in deck right now that we're... Uh, I don't know, there's too many. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> so she, she's a great photographer. So uh, we are trying to bring a lot of excitement to Florida. We're going to be coming down. We're going to be... See, Wisconsin does not have white sandy beaches. Come, we, have, we have that other white stuff yeah, that we, we don't like. Yeah, so uh, we want to come down. We're going to be down there for quite a while, bring down the whole team. and But more than anything. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you, Tavira. We absolutely love to show you around. Uh, oh, absolutely. We will. We just tag that right there after yes. we show you around. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, but anyway, yeah, what great events and what a great team. And um, the uh, in your team, uh, in terms of people that I love the pictures that you have, uh, Mike Malone is a co-founder, Amanda Martin, and Daniel Ray. You got uh, you got quite a lineup, and I love the pictures that you put up there. It looks like a great group. Yeah, I'm in the process of updating that um, to get – that's just our management. Uh -huh. So we have we have 18 employees, wow. which is wow. kind of mind-boggling to me yeah. how quickly we've grown. Um, so I need to get all the rest of them. I have half their photos, but i got to get the other half uh -huh. taken and, and get them up on. Well, but it's – Pretty fun. We have a, a really good crew. Everybody gets along. They all hang out outside of work hours together. Uh, a lot of a lot of paddle boarding, and half of our staff does yoga together. And um, it's a it's a tight knit group here. We're very fortunate. Yeah, we're having on our marketing side, just so you know. So when we do these interviews, uh, our marketing and sales guy basically he wants to tie it all together in the area. So like they'll take your focus where you're at, and then call other places around and say, hey, if you're going to be golfing here or laying on the beach there or Paddle boarding. You know, paddle boarding, whatever you're doing. Here's a place to go and have a couple beers at the end of the day and see some wrestling. Not the most common thing, but there's other great things. I've just focused on that. I think that that's just such a great. It's pretty crazy. That, that's just yeah, we're, our beer is on tap. And, uh, you know, Vero is a neat little town. It's, it's a small town, and we have like 20 golf courses. Really? It's amazing. Wow. Most, most of them are private. Uh -huh. There's a lot of money here. Uh, but um, we're on tap in – Four or five of them, which is which is pretty exciting. Hey, if you could give us that list, we'll make sure that they, you know, get that uh, common acknowledgement for what we're doing. You know, we want to. Excellent. Yeah, I'll definitely. Say yeah, that we'll to give you. you a call right after this to tell you how that goes about. But anyway, the highlight. How many beers do you have now? On... You stole my question. Go ahead, Kira. How many beers do you guys have on tap? <laughs> she, she's the beer queen. Yeah. So I think right now something that we really. Should strive to do here. We're a malt-focused brewery. Uh, our, our goal is to really educate people on traditional styles, historically accurate processes and ingredients, and um, you know, you're not going to find any crazy peanut butter and jelly or <laughs> you know, chocolate fudge cake, yeah. this and that. You know, we, we brew true to style and really focus on, on educating people on, on what a Dortmunder export should really taste like, you know, uh, you know, there's this, this whole craft beer thing is new to a lot of people and, you know, they deserve to, to know what a real style really tastes like. So, yeah, well, we try our hardest to keep a, a really wide range of styles on tap so that there's something for everybody, no matter when you come, it's not just all hazy IPAs, you know, we, we try and mix it up. Oh, so do you guys have a brewery tour going on at all, or is that something you guys offer? So we usually just do private tours by appointment only. We don't have a set. Um, I mean, Mike and I both have kids, and to come on a Saturday and give tours, I guess we just haven't found anybody yet that's uh, really knowledgeable enough to, to give a good tour. So we do it by appointment only. We have one today at 2 o'clock for uh, – a restaurant, they're bringing all their staff in. Uh, we do that a lot. We do, you know, private tours and tastings for our accounts to train them. 
But yeah, we do lots of groups. We get people coming into town saying, hey, we're in town on a bachelorette party. Do you guys do tours? Absolutely. Come on. <laughs> so. It sounds terrific. Well, listen, we got to wrap this up, but we just want to cover the highlights. 25,000 square feet, 24,000 square feet. They have we, wrestling. They have wrestling. Why wouldn't you not want to go there? But they also have bands and great events. You got to go to their website, walkingtreebrewery.com. Vero Beach, Florida. We've had Alan. Yes, is it Drittenboss? Drittenboss? How do you pronounce it? You got it. Drittenboss. Drittenboss. It yeah. sounds like a good German name, one or along the other. <laughs> so I love that. Um, but anyway, we want everybody to um, tell us where you've been watching this from. Give us some updates. Send some updates through this. This is going to be a great place in Vero Beach if you ever get down that area. All you golfers, golfers golf, then they sip. So we found now a classic place where you can go watch wrestling. And it's awesome. I like Or that. other events. Other events. You know, Miss Kira, she always got to give me balance. But uh, <laughs> she's Kira untapped. So just so you know, you know, you can sit and pull the top. No, I can't say that, can I? That's no. Can't pull the no, top no, off that. No, no, no. Can't, no, I didn't mean that. I got to put that away. <laughs> anyway, we appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Alan. Have a good one, Alan. Yeah, thank you, guys. All right. we'll Cheers. Have a good one, guys. We'll give you a call shortly. All Cheers. Right. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.